Hey YouTube, so I just wanted to come to you today and um, actually talk about me. And that's something different. Something that I just don't do. So go ahead and stay tuned. So welcome back. I decided to talk about me today because I was riding in the car with one of my girlfriends the other day. And um, as you guys know, I recently had a child. She is now five months. And I wanted to take a proactive approach to my relationship to make sure that it got back on track to make sure that I am bonding with my man <laughs> um, without the baby being around nonetheless of course we love our daughter and everything's going good she's you know growing etc etc but we want to make sure that we are connecting as adults so me being the relationship person I thought up well you know what I noticed things are changing and now I'm doing a lot better um, healing up etc etc and I'm noticing that uh, slowly but surely it's starting to where we're doing our own thing and obviously I want the relationship to work like we both do but I noticed that a lot of times when we're um, in relationships especially when a baby comes in the dynamics change and so I want to make sure in my own personal relationship that my dynamics don't change as much as they need to and um really very little when it comes to me and my partner now of course it's going to change because of my, my uh, our daughter is around but with him and i i want the dynamics to be relatively similar or pre-baby <laughs> because i was in the car with my girlfriend and we were just chatting and i asked her and another family member of mine if they would be willing to keep my daughter for um a few hours once a month so each person would be a few hours being a total of at least two days out of the month where it's just him and him and I time enough time for us to be able to create the bond and continue to get to know one another and continue to enjoy each other as adults not just parents so um, anyway I thought about this because uh, I'm riding in the car with my girlfriend as I just mentioned and she said why are you taking a very proactive approach and it really kind of hit me like well yeah I am because this is what we should be doing we should be taking proactive approaches to our relationships to make sure that they are staying together and uh, it also made me think that if she's saying this then there are other people out there who don't necessarily um, take proactive approaches to making sure that the relationship bond is keeping together is cohesive and still strengthening and tighten so um, anyway I just wanted to come and make sure that you guys know that when you see things changing from where they were before not just with the baby my in my particular case it's a child but um, when you see things are changing you have to change to make the relationship work and that's really the message you have to do something about it you have to be proactive and making sure that your relationship is working so if you notice that you two are kind of in this little I hate to call it a slump but you're kind of in a slump meaning y'all together now you have a relationship you might be living together or even married and uh, y'all just have a routine that's the word I'm looking for you just have a routine I both go to work you come home you might say you know how you doing how was your day very very basic nothing very detailed nothing um, going below the surface and then y'all kind of go off and do your own thing or y'all might have a routine of watching a movie the point is you need to change it up change it up and uh, make sure that you are making time for one another so you guys can continue to bond together like I said in my particular case it's a, it's a child and so I wanted to make sure that we have a few times out of the month where it's just him and I where we can bond as adults and make sure that that's continued to happen because one day she's gonna grow up and she's not gonna be here <laughs> and I know a lot of people think that you know um, uh, uh, 18 20 years that's really quick but really if you think about it if you think about it those numbers and those years go so fast just think about yourself like I remember when I was a teenager and now I'm a full-blown adult talking about raising somebody else so <laughs> those years go really fast so the point is uh, you don't want your children to just interfere and overtake your life and overtake your relationship and then when your children are gone they have moved on with life and now they're starting their own lives now you have to reintroduce yourself to your partner if the relationship lasts that long so just think about it and do something be proactive in making sure that your relationship lasts because we're all very proactive with other things that we want 
such as that promotion, you proactive, you stay in that work at night, or that degree, you making sure that you study so you can get that degree, or what have you. And we have a tendency to throw our relationships on the back burner and then be scratching our head wondering what the heck happened, why didn't it last. Well, I can tell you just being straight and forward and blunt, it didn't last because you didn't put your time, energy, and effort into it. Think about it. I love you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.